Hey guys, welcome back. I hope that everybody's doing really, really well and that you had a beautiful Thanksgiving if you celebrate. So today's reading is going to be just a check-in for those of you who are in no communication with your counterpart, all right? And I do know that that is quite a few of you. Um, but yeah, keep in mind that it is general and because I've been posting a little bit more than usual, we might be tapping into like a very specific group. So yeah, it's not going to resonate for everyone, but if you'd like a personal reading, all that information is in the description box. All right, so, and I will be doing this a little bit differently. We're going to be looking at the masculine's energy in parallel to the feminine's energy to see what is going on and hopefully that will help you to see if this is your situation or or not. So starting with the masculines, let's get some general energy here. All right, we have a man holding a heart. Okay, so the masculine is definitely feeling um, <laughs> feeling that love for you, all right? Just plain and simple, all right? They have these emotions for you, definitely feeling the connection as well. Let's see for the feminines. All right, and we have Angel of Love, and we also have Blossoming Abundance. All right, so even the feminines, it's like, okay, tapping into a group where there really is a lot of love between the two of you, but of course, because this is mostly going to be for those of you in Divine Soulmate Connections, um, that's just no surprise, all right, that there is a lot of love between the two of you. But what I'm mostly getting here for the feminines is that you're really tapping into your aspect of love, just in general, just being open overall to whatever the universe wants to provide for you at the moment. I see it this more as being an acceptance. And because of that, right, your abundance is actually um, increasing, okay? And that could be even in, in finances, it could be just in love, it could be in friendships, it could just be, you know, whatever. So, um, yeah, let me put these up here. I will get just a couple more, actually. I do want to get at least one more oracle card for each. Let's see for the masculines. All right, and we have number six, which is innocence. So this is all about um, purity, right? So the, this love that this masculine has for you is very pure, it is very genuine, even if it does not appear that way, all right? Because this is no communication, so obviously it might not be so apparent. But this is also about holding an optimistic attitude. So I feel like this masculine is actually very optimistic at the moment about what they can actually accomplish when it comes to how they feel. So I know it's looking very positive, like I wasn't really expecting this, but this is what this is what is coming through. Um, let's get one for the feminines. Like this this card actually reminds me of um, the Page of Cups to be honest, and it does look like they're holding back a little bit, right? It does look like they're holding back, but it, it also feels like there is some emotions here that they want to actually, they feel like they want to communicate and they're very genuine with what it is that they wanna say, but holding that back a little bit. All right, so for the feminines, we have number five, which this card is actually called Gossip and it's all about, um, I mean, it can be very literal, like <laughs> gossip, but that's not exactly what I'm getting here. I'm getting that there's a lot of possibly you trying to communicate with others about this situation, or you might be learning some information from other sources about, about the masculine. So you may have you may have either recently picked up some information or it might be coming up. All right, so maybe that will help you to see if this is your reading. Let's get into the tarot. So let's see um, the recent past for the masculines. Let's just get one or two cards for the masculines, the recent past. All right, and we have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so for the masculines, there's been some movement recently, all right? There's something that they have been focused on, and but they're trying to really figure it out first before 
actually taking quicker movement, all right? And this is obviously going to be in relation to you. So it feels like there's some kind of a plan, there's some kind of a strategy here. Just trying to trust some kind of a process. We'll see more when we clarify, but let's just get one for the feminines for the recent past. All right, and we have strength in reverse. Okay, so in the recent past, you felt like one of two things, either that you were just feeling very um, weak when it comes to this connection, feeling like you just cannot move on or you just don't have the strength to really find your own sense of balance, or you were just in this energy of possibly allowing ego to take a little bit, you know, like the better of you, get the better of you in the sense that you may have had some reactions towards the masculine that may have come off um, as uncompassionate, right? Like maybe a little bit hostile energy directed towards the masculine, right? Not anymore. This is just in the, in the recent past. Let's clarify this Knight of Pentacles for the masculines. And we have the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, so this is, I feel like this is pretty recent, that the masculine has taken actually a new direction, like turned the wheel in a new direction towards trust, towards trusting their emotions, right? Because they have two cards of emotions up here. Let's see the, um, the strength in reverse for the feminines. All right, and we have the Ten of Cups. So yeah, when it came to this connection, even though deep down you felt like, you know, you know that this is, this is the connection that would fulfill you, right? You know that th there's this potential for this ultimate happiness here. You were, that's one reason why you were feeling like you just cannot move on. Or, you know, that's also the reason why the ego can come in and try to protect you by being like, you know what? This person is a jerk, this person, you know, um, is not genuine, you know, I don't want this anymore, I'm done, you know, that's ego, right? And it was trying to protect you because this is, this was how you truly felt deep down, right? And that's okay, and that's okay, you know, sometimes we have these self-defense mechanisms because they serve a purpose at that particular point in time. So let's see what's going on currently. Let's see for the masculines. In their energy towards you. So I will try to get about three cards here. <coughs> All right, excuse me. Interesting that we only got one to start off with. We have the 10 of wands. So the, the fact that it, we just got one is just, um, this is spirit placing a lot of emphasis on this 10 of wands. Okay, so there's something here that is really, really burdening them. They feel like, um, you know, I feel like ever since they've gotten back on this path, ever since they've turned the wheel towards trusting their emotions, like accepting those emotions, as I was talking about, they're feeling this heaviness, like they're carrying this weight, like, like there's something that I have to do in order to release this weight. And that actually is following that path that they have already begun to take. So let's get a, a couple more. Yeah, and they're feeling like, you know, this is just very exhausting for them. Let's see what else. The Three of Wands and the Ten of Swords. Wow, okay, so that's two tens. Actually, it's, we have three tens out here for the masculines, all right? Because the Wheel of Fortune is also a number 10. And we have the Three of Wands and the Ten of Swords showing up now. So yeah, that's um, major completions, all right? Major completions, ending of, ending of cycles. And I feel like these cycles are ending because they've taken this new path of trusting their, their emotions. Um, however, this Ten of Swords, though, it is pretty heavy. It's pretty heavy energy here that they are feeling. It's like they're feeling like, you know, this is over with you. Even if they are on that path trying to, you know, turn the wheel in a new direction, they're still feeling the pain of this ending. And I feel like um, for this particular group that I'm tapping into, I, I'm not so sure that they felt that before. 
because it's coming into the current energy. So this is something that they're feeling now, like just really feeling that effect of this um, connection being done. However, we have the three of wands right smack in the middle of these two tens, which is telling me that they are thinking about the future. Like there's, it's, it's in line with this um, plan that I was talking about with the Knight of Pentacles, right? Thinking about waiting um, to see where this path is going to lead them. And in the meantime, really feeling the pain of that because there's still this scenario in their mind, right? That that this might actually not even work. They're trying to trust it, but they're not sure that they're going to be able to release this heavy burden. So before we see what's going on with the feminines, let's actually clarify these. Actually, no, change my mind. <laughs> We're gonna look at the feminines first and then we'll clarify. When there's a card in this deck that belongs to another deck. How did you get in here? Where are you? I just saw you. One sec, we need to find it. It's like hiding. <laughs> Where'd you go? I saw you. Oh. It'll show itself at some point. All right, so let's see for the feminines. What is going on in the the ace of swords the moon in reverse and the queen of cups in reverse okay interesting combination so it's like there's a lot of clarity something that you were repressing right is coming up now to the surface and you are facing it and i really do feel like it is um whatever that strength was in reverse right so a lot of you may have been suppressing this inner strength that you do have right or if it is having suppressed your your feelings right really feeling like it's um you know convincing yourself that this is done and that you don't want it anymore that you don't want that ten of cups anymore i feel like you're in the process of now being in that acceptance as i was talking about also um with the very first oracle cards right with that angel of love like just being accepting of what it is that your heart wants and allowing it to blossom in whatever way shape or form the universe wants to give it to you. So I feel like this is that acceptance of that, right? But we do have this queen of cups in reverse. So we're actually, yeah, I'm gonna clarify that because I feel like, I'm getting with that queen of cups in reverse together with these other two cards that this is you actually even though you are open, right, to how you truly feel, you're not in this energy of pouring out love actively towards your masculine. This is like, yeah, you know what? I accept that this is how I feel. Yeah, I might be finding out some information about them, but I'm still holding my love, you know, to myself, not allowing myself to just give where it's not ready, where things are just not ready, the masculine is not here, the masculine is not, you know, communicating. So you're, you're not allowing yourself to just give all of you to this. So it's actually coming in as being positive rather than negative. All right, so let's clarify now. Let's clarify um, the masculine's energy here. All right, we have the Six of Swords, the Four of Wands, and the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so this masculine has tried to move away um, from the connection. They're realizing that they cannot, right? That they cannot avoid this anymore. And I feel like this is what is creating that Ten of Wands energy, right? Because like the more that they have tried to move away from you, right? Whether it be on an emotional level, on a practical level, on a mental level, just trying to forget about you. Um, it's just created more of a mess in some way for them. All right. And so now that's something that they're realizing is that they cannot move away from this. This is not a connection that they can actually leave behind. And that is why, right, we have that 10 of swords here. That's why they're now able to feel that pain because 
they are admitting this to themselves and they're actually encountering it in their energies. All right, so then we have the Four of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles. Um, I'm telling you this, I, I don't know what group this is, but, because it's definitely not going to be everybody's um, situation, as I said in the beginning, but this is a masculine who is really thinking about the future and thinking about having that four of wands with their feminine, right? Which is all about stability. It can be marriage. It can, you know, it's, it's just union overall. So this is somebody who is thinking about this and has you on their mind a lot. And I know that, you know, everything I'm saying sounds so optimistic and <laughs> a lot of my readings are not. This one just happens to be. Um, and I think I had another one um, fairly recently that was also really really positive. Um, one of the general readings. But this is the plan, right? Because like I said, this Three of Wands, it's reminding me of that Knight of Pentacles. It's the plan. It's the strategy. Um, what they're trying to set into motion here, right? It's like with that Knight of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune, they're trying to set something into motion. And I feel like they're very... Um, consciously aware of this. It's not that things are just happening to them that are leading them in that direction. No, they are. this masculine is consciously aware of their feelings. And because of that and feeling that heaviness that they're not with their feminine, they are slowly, okay, it is slow with the Knight of Pentacles, but they are turning things in a new direction. They do have this plan and gradually trying to do something for each of them. It's going to be different, right? Depending on what their obstacles were, but they're trying to do something which is guiding them towards that four of wands. But yeah, because it is the three of wands, right? That we're clarifying here. It again is telling me that it is taking a little bit of time. All right, it's a, it's a very gradual process. It's the second card that we have, which is representing um, slower type of movement here. But it is moving, all right, on the right, on the right path. So for the Ten of Swords, we have the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, it, it, this is actually another card of waiting. Um, and this is telling me that the masculine has actually tried. They have invested time in trying to, um, you know, get over this, to put an end to this connection, to put an end to their feminine, to try to move on. Um, but it did not yield any results, and that's why they are in this pain. And I feel like there is some uncertainty here. There is some uncertainty about where this is. Um, taking them, you know, if it's if it's going to be, you know, what they want, is it going to be successful? There's a lot of questions here, which is also creating more pain and more burden for them. But I feel like they've, it's like the wheel has already spun. So like now it's, you know, they're on that roll. <clears throat> kind of like once the ball has started rolling, it's like downhill. So like it can't stop. That's what I'm getting here. It's just that it's a, it's a it's a slight hill, so it's not moving very fast, but it is going downward, so it can't go back up the other way. Um, there might be some bumps that they might you know that ball has to go over, but it can't go back the other way. All right, that's what I'm getting here. So let's see for the feminines. And after this, we'll see what is coming up. All right, so we have the Five of Swords, the Page of Pentacles in reverse, and the Seven of Swords in reverse. Yeah, you. I, I feel like you actually know where it is that you might have been deceiving yourself and how you feel like this is something, a lesson you have learned or something that you have uncovered in your own, own self. It's like with this Five of Swords, like you know that you were in this, in this type of an energy. Um, whether it was that you were denying the connection, denying how you feel about it, denying what you want for it, or even if it was just you feeling like you cannot move on with your life, even that, if that was the case for you, where you were just feeling like you didn't have strength, that was also self-deceptive self because you do have the strength to have abundance and to just feel like you have love regardless of your masculine, all right? And, and I'm not necessarily saying that that has to be with another romantic partner. It could be, but that's not necessarily it. Just that you can actually feel complete. 
as a person you are that you are whole I feel like this is a um, a realization that you are now having and if you don't feel this way I feel like but the rest of the reading is resonating for you I feel like this is something that your soul is working with and it will be coming up for you all right um, <clears throat> Yeah, and again here, like, this is just all about you not feeling like you just don't want to invest your energy into a connection where it just, things are not right just yet. You don't want to invest your, your love at the moment, even if you are open to it. You don't want to invest your love to somebody who is in the Seven of Swords energy, to somebody who is, you know, ghosting you or not communicating with you, um, holding their energy back from you, like just slipping away, right? Sneaking away out of your life. So let's actually see what might be coming up here in the near future. So for the masculines, we have the Page of Wands, the Page of Cups, and the Sun. All right, so two pages, which pages um, can talk about communication. Okay, so I definitely see this as being a very strong potential here, um, especially with the Sun being the final card out. The sun is all, all about truth. It's all about um, happiness, fulfillment, and success. So, and they all um, came up upright. Unless I switched them, <laughs> if I did, okay, if anybody saw any of these cards being in reverse, I literally must have turned them upright um, unconsciously because I don't remember doing that. And I, but I don't remember that I actually seen them upright either. So it was like automatic, which means that this is how they were meant to come out, all right? So yeah, Page of Wands, Page of Cups. This is all about um, having new inspiration, having, um, you know, emotional clarity. And like I said, that very first card, right, the number six, it reminds me of this Page of Cups. Maybe not in these images, but yeah. Those of you who know a bit about tarot could probably see why this would remind me of the Page of Cups. Um, and especially because it's, it's, it's talking about innocence and purity. So that's what we're getting here. So if there is communication, right, um, that comes through for you, it's going to be genuine. It's going to be genuine. I mean, we have the sun attached to this. It's going to be real. Okay, and whatever this communication is, it's going to be, um, it's going to be pure. It's going to be, there's going to be some kind of success associated with this communication. Does that necessarily mean that, you know, there is union and that you are together with this person? I don't know. Maybe for some of you, yes. Maybe for others of you, not yet. But this communication is definitely going to be something that is going to be um, pretty big and it's just setting things, you know, on a very positive note here for the connection. It's a lot of optimism, right? So, I mean, at the very least, this is saying that the masculine is open to something new, even if there is no um, communication. And when I say something new, meaning something new with their feminine, because this is about the feminine, and this is them like successfully having that ball rolling as I was saying before. So let's see for the feminines. There's that card. Let's see what it is. <laughs> it's the Five of Pentacles. All right. Yeah, it could be that, you know, this could be here for, for a particular reason, and I'm getting that it would be for the both of you, like something mutual between the connection. And this is, yeah, that feeling of loss, all right? This is also... Um, it could be that you are missing, both missing each other, right? Both feeling lonely, both feeling alone without, without the other. So let's see feminine what is coming up. All right, so we have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, the Devil, and the Queen of Wands. 
All right, Femmies, what's going on here? Um, all right, I do see like, I do see this as being like a little bump on your path, but I see you overcoming it at the end. May or may not be related to this energy here from the masculine um, communicating with you like that. If that does happen, like if you do get some communication from your masculine, like if they are the ones who reach out, um, it could throw you off a little bit where it might make you feel like you are still attached to them. You might feel like it's taking you back. Um, you might have a fear of repeating, you know, some kind of pattern or if things, you know, um, just going sour again with for your own self. You might be afraid actually of going back to that, this like total five of pentacles energy, right? Of feeling completely alone, of feeling that attachment because I see you feeling really good at the moment. Um, but what I'm getting here is that no, no, that's just a fear, all right? That's what the devil is here to represent. It's telling you that this nine of pentacles in reverse, you feeling like, Oh my gosh, you know, I guess I didn't detach. No, detachment doesn't mean that you have to be completely over this person. All right? Um, and I might talk about a little bit more about that at some point in, in another video. But it's interesting that it came up now because um, I was actually having um, this type of a conversation with one of my clients. Um, but yeah, you do not need to completely be over this person in order to work on detachment or in order to be detaching okay that's not what that means so yeah don't let that scare you don't let that you know set you back don't let that um unmotivate you or feel like you know you you're not on your right path no you have the queen of wands up right here you are you are on the right path i feel like it's just like you know it's like um a negative energy just coming into you know it's like it, it could be like your shadow for example just coming up to kind of like test you all right don't don't give in to that fear you're you're doing just fine all right so um and for some of you this could even be happening now all right so because time is relevant so just take the messages as they feel right for you All right, so let's get a final oracle message here to close out this reading. Please give me a thumbs up if it resonated. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. Oh, and we got two. Okay, so we have time for a nap and we have a message in a bottle. All right, so two messages here. Um, this message is definitely here for the for the feminines, all right? You can relax. You can take a break, you know, from whatever it is that you may have been doing. You, I feel like for a lot of you, you may have gone through, you know, just a very difficult time, especially up here with that strength in reverse. Um, and this five of pentacles that, you know, showed up, I feel like, when it was supposed to. Um, you've definitely had a really hard time, okay? So you can take a break and you can relax in knowing that things are on the right path, all right? And we have message in a bottle. I feel like you're definitely getting some kind of information. You're definitely getting some kind of a message and very likely for some of you, um, this will be communication from your from your counterpart here, all right? Which, by the way, is <laughs> could also be the case with that, um, one of the Oracle cards that we got here, right? The one called, it, it's just called gossip, okay? Don't take that too literally. It is about communication and conversations. All right, so yeah, I definitely see a lot of that kind of energy showing up here, all right, revolving around communication. So I feel like at the very least, there is, you will be finding out something that is going to be positive. And that, even that positive news might actually throw you a little bit off and make you feel like, you know, shit, <laughs> maybe I'm not as detached as I, as I thought I was. But again, um, stay focused. Stay focused on what you have accomplished and know that you are on the right path here. So that is what I got for you. I thank you guys so much for watching and much love.